The man everybody's been waiting for is a pleasure and a privilege for me to bring this gentleman on. A man that's become a legend in his own time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make a round of applause for him. Understood now because I want everybody to enjoy it. You feel me? So, it's hip hop in the building. Yeah. 
I said, is hip hop in the building? Okay, that sounds more like it. Where are my grown folks at? Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. So y'all, I, I can have some fun up here, right? I can make get comfortable, make this my home, right? I mean, I, I need to check with DJ Cool and EU first, but I mean, I can make this my home, right? Y'all don't mind, right? Okay, so y'all just stay with me. Let's move it out, baby. You know what?
So the year is 1984. It was a point in life, right? I pretty much gave up on my rap career thinking I'd never get a deal. And then I'm inside the Albi Square Mall. And I meet this dude who my man been telling me is dope. I asked him for a battle. So we battle, you know? And then after the battle, he tells me that I'm dope and that I should get down with him. And he guaranteed that he gonna give me a record deal. Fast forward to 1986. Sure enough, this brother come to me and asked me to write a single for him and to help him write, finish writing his album. Then he took me on tour with him and kept his word. When we came off, he sure enough got me a record deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Biz Marquis, y'all make some goddamn noise.
Show your love one time for B-Boy Tata, y'all. Big show off. <laughs> hey, look here, y'all. My time is coming. So I got to get up on out of here. But before I go, I just want to say this to all my peoples in the building. Much love and respect to you, and I truly appreciate y'all continuing to support hip hop. You know, that's for real. And dig this: if you were fortunate enough to become a doctor, surgeon, a lawyer, or so have you, hey man, congratulations and continued success. But dig this, if you are working in Mickey D's, flipping burgers, I need you to do me one big favor. And that is continue to flip them damn burgers the best way possible. In a real kind of way, all right? Don't be ashamed of what you're doing. Stick to your hustle, stick to your grind until one day you make manager, and then one day you own your own fast food franchise. You know? See, see, people never show the grind. People never really show the struggle. But I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? We all start from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So don't be ashamed of what you're doing. Just stick to your hustle and stay focused. And anybody that's around you with negative vibes, get them out your life quick fast. Nothing but positive energy, that's all you mean. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I didn't mean to talk y'all to death. We grown folks and y'all know the history. I could have kept it real short and simple and just said, look here in life, ain't no half stepping. Mm -hmm. Come on! 
Thank you. 